Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something slightly different. I've never done this on my channel before. It's going to be a first impressions and a testing video. I'm going to be testing this mascara. It's by New Skin and it's called New Colour Curling Mascara Black. And yeah, I've never tried anything from New Skin before, so this is going to be really interesting, but I've heard such good things about this mascara. Just before I start to test out the mascara and talk about the company and things like that, I just thought I'd let you know that this is not a sponsored video. I did get sent this mascara by a lovely lady called Carla. I'll talk about her later on in this video. But yeah, all opinions are my own and I haven't been asked to talk about this, paid to talk about, I'm just doing this because... I want to do something different on my channel. So this company on its about section says that new skin remains true to its all of the good, none of the bad heritage today, developing innovative products that help support the health and longevity of skin and hair. I think that means that it's really good for your skin. I've heard that they're very organic. They don't use any harmful ingredients. I think that's what it's saying um, about animal testing and things like that. It says it does not test its cosmetic products on animals except from when the laws and agencies require it and I think that's because they do test it in China, they do sell their products in China and for those people who don't know that if you sell your products in China they're by law you have to test on animals just to make sure it's safe for humans so it's not cruelty free if it tests in China so but then if the mascara is good that makes up for it and it's good for your skin and it, it depends on your view of this Quick little bit of info about the mascara itself. It retails at £26.05, but the web price is £24.76. So it's a bit strange price, like normally it's like 99 But no, 70, 76 So it's expensive for a mascara in my opinion, but then when you think about like benefit and things like that, like it's not much more than the price you'd pay for one of their mascaras. So it depends how you look at it and it depends how good you think it is. Like if you like the product, you will be willing to pay more for it. And the mascara says, make your beautiful eyes the centre of interest with the new colour curling mascara black. And it says it's ideal to where your eyes jump out and gives the extra magnificent glow to your look. And it just says it's nice, easy to use. Talk about the brush and things like that. But um now let's get on to like the interesting part and actually test it because if I just be here like reading things and we're not going to get on to it. So this is the box that the mascara comes in. It's just quite sleek and quite simple. It doesn't feel like luxurious but it does. Like it's a nice like cardboard. It's not cheap. But that's just what the box looks like. It just says new skin and then the name of the mascara just got the ingredients on the back and things like that it's nothing like fancy but it's like a nice feel so i quite like the packaging okay when i open up the mascara just a silver tube i quite like it like it's nice like and the handle of it it's got like dents this is this is the reason why i wish i had a better camera because i'm gonna be doing this and you're not gonna be able to tell nothing about it because it's it's an iPod, it's not like amazing, but it's just got like dents in the handles so you can sort of put your fingers on it and I really like that. I think that's nice, probably make the application of the mascara easier. Um, it, it's like just a black tube, ingredients on it again, as you might be able to see, might not. And then just says new colour over there. Yeah, I think you can see that, not sure. It does remind me of one of the mascaras I had, I think it was a 17 one, when I was younger, I might still have it somewhere, like obviously I don't use it still, probably like mouldy or something, but it just reminds me of one of those, but nothing fancy, but it's like a nice feel to it, like it does feel good, it's like when you hold it, especially this, I like how it's dented, that's my favourite bit about the packaging. Right, when I open up the mascara, oh, this is, that feels nice and secure, okay. Oh, I like the wand. I do really like this wand. Let me put, yeah. It's just, can you see it? It's like, it's curved. The, the lashes are different sizes. I do really like it. This is the bit where I have to go like this, otherwise you're not actually going to be able to see it. And I'm not going to be able to know what's in the shot, but yeah it's just really nice I, I i really like this wand um ones like this is the ones that i normally work best with so 
hopefully it's good. Um, because it says on the website that it's a curling mascara, I'm not going to put my eyelash curlers, I, I'm not going to use them first, just otherwise, like, you can actually test if it does what it says it does. So let's just get on and test it. Can we just see the difference? I like that. I do really like that. I just apply it on my lower lashes and then do like a proper comparison. Okay, so this is one layer just of the mascara. So that's before with nothing on, and that's afterwards. I like how they don't go all clumpy, like it says they'll separate your lashes, and they do do that, like they do that nicely. And they do add volume, they are so much more darker, like you can see there, and then see from far back as well. Like they definitely do make my eyes stand out more, and I really like that. So if I just apply this one and then we'll get on to a second coat you can see from here you do have some slight splodging on this side but that is literally only because of the way I applied it I applied it trying to like look all good on camera and it made it go smudgy but I am so far impressed I'm just going to apply a second layer quickly just to see if it's buildable. Okay, right. The first layer I thought was good. So this is just one layer and that's two layers. Right, the first layer... I thought was good but I thought it was still like slightly average but right can we just take a moment to appreciate the two layers this has got me like oh I've changed my mind okay right this is my opinions on it so far then I'll do the second coat on this one basically I thought that it was still like my bourgeois one was did the same job no second layer this is so buildable, like it's nice. With the bourgeois one, if I do two coats, my lashes will stick together and I have spidery lashes. Here, I don't think it's spidery. Let's agree to disagree if you don't agree with me, but they're separate, but they're not. Like here is one, there's two. It's just so buildable, like it... The first coat has already dried when I put it on, so you can do a spray thing. Like, I always find that when I do mascara, I have to wait to do the spray thing, otherwise I'm going to get mascara everywhere. I'm confident that if I applied the spray thing straight away, it'd be fine. Like, when I was applying my second coat, you could feel like the lashes were dry. And I know some people like that, some people don't. But I did like that because I felt like it was properly putting on an extra coat rather than just adding to the first initial layer of mascara. I am actually like, it's gone from okay, like not sure whether I'd repurchase it, but I'm loving it. I'm not sure what you can see because I'm staring right at the, the lens. I love it. I'm going to spray my lashes now just because I've only like just applied the second layer of mascara here. So it's still drying. So I'm just going to wait 30 seconds and then spray it to see if it transfers. Like, so this is my lashes now, so they're not, there's no excess product except from this eye where, like, it dried so fast where I couldn't, well, it's not that I couldn't clear it up, it's that I couldn't be bothered. I'm lazy. But yeah, it's just really nice. Okay, and now let's do the spray test and then see how many pumps should I do? Should I be really generous because we only do a few? Okay. I love doing like this and getting the air. I love it. Okay. Still slightly wet, but. I 
no transfer whatsoever. Absolutely none. Was this it before? Whatever it was, it was like mascara, but it's gone off now. I'm just under here. Where I had. That's where I had my lashes before, and whatever that blob was, it just went off. I like it, I'm impressed, because normally I'd have to wait longer than that, I'd have to wait a good 10 minutes before I spray it, otherwise I will get excess products, and here I waited a minute, no more than a minute, and I sprayed it, and... Okay, so I'll just quickly go over the checklist and see if it does what it says it does. So, ideal to make your eyes jump out. Check, I reckon it does. Um, magnificent glow to your look. Well, before my favourite part of this look was the lipstick and that's the mascara, so. Lipstick's, lipstick's still there, but. Um, light curve brush, especially formulated to separate lashes and give them long lasting curling power without clumping. Um, I'll probably forget to do like an update later on to see if it has maintained that, but I'll comment in the description if it's long lasting, if it's gone clumpy, but if it's not got separated like if they stuck together but right now I can say that yes it has done that and then I'll keep it in the description like I'll write it if any if it's still that way throughout the day or if they've if it's gone bad but right now I am really impressed would recommend it is it worth the 26 pound 24 pounds yeah I like it I like to treat myself not every day, but I think the eyes is the most important part because that's what you look at when you look at someone. You don't like look at their like cheeks or something. Well, I'd look at their highlight, but yeah, their eyes. I, I really like it and I'd definitely recommend it. I'd definitely buy this again, but I'd buy this on my own money because I am shocked. So good. Right, I also mentioned that I talk a little about a lady called Carla, the lovely woman who sent me this product. Um, she is recruiting right now. So you have to be 18 or over to become a beauty ambassador, but it's basically a bit like a bit like Avon or things like that, like back in the olden days when we had Avon. I still do with my spray. But it's a bit like that, like full-time, part-time, top trending products, weekly cash profits, and free products, free training, and it's something like that. It just says, come and join us. This could be perfectly suited to you. Work from home on your phone, promoting health, beauty and makeup products. Her name is Carla Bowden and her number's here. If I just... I'm not sure if that's in focus or if you can even see it. So everything will be down in the description bar as well as her Facebook. She's got like a lovely little Facebook group where we all share products, all share our reviews. So you can go down there and I'll also link her Instagram so you could share your reviews, you could see other people's opinions on products and yeah and then you can ask her either via her number or via those Facebook or Instagram if you want to contact her for to purchase a product or for more information about joining her team. She's got a lovely group of women on her team and they've all become so successful she quit her day job to do this now and she's she's earning so much more than she did so she's doing well i'm really proud of her for doing that right i'm gonna sound really englishy now but like to conclude yeah to conclude i think that this mascara is amazing just if you've forgotten already like i love it i'm just gonna be staring at myself all day like mm. So hit or miss, hit. Love it. Like I said, I'll keep you updated in the description if my opinions have changed throughout the day. If anything's happened, I'll do like mini like throughout the day sort of journal thing. But yeah, for now, I really like this. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And give it a big like if you want more of these first impressions. Video requests down below, the usual things. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.